Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tron TBC YouTube channel. It has been a minute. I wanted to thank those of you that are commenting on the video, telling me to come back, make videos, and just complimenting me on the channel overall. It means a ton. So with that being said, an explanation for the break, frankly. I've just taken a minute to focus on some in real life stuff. I've got some personal business, uh, like entrepreneur type business, as well as just working through finishing my last semester at university. So with that, uh, things have been calming down recently, so I wanted to create a video about my experience in season two. Season two was a riot, had a really good time testing a whole bunch of different compositions, and the one that you're watching right now is the one that I will be playing in season three as an elemental shaman. The comp is Discipline Priest, Rogue, Ellie Shaman. And this comp plays very similar to RMP, but even more bursty, and it has Lust with 6 second Earth Shocks. So it's got some good stuff to it, and I wanted to just demonstrate you to how these games are going. So this game is against WLD. You'll see that my Rogue is sitting on the Druid back there, making the Druid panic. The Warlock's gonna peel off and go help the Druid. Uh, this priest keeps me up really well here and opens up a burst opportunity for the warrior. So at this point, that's really how we consistently beat WLD, is we separate the warrior and the druid, and that's really it. Uh, when you're a fully geared elemental shaman with 375 plus resilience and 850 plus spell power, you should be able to 1v1 a warrior, especially with off fields from your priest, fears, and the occasional mind blast, shadow word pain, and shadow word death. So that's how we consistently beat WLD. Our win rate is somewhere around 50-50, 60-40 right now. Um, we're just figuring out against some of the better WLDs when the warrior refuses to separate from the druid. We are working on how to solve that. Um, as to what rating we played this combat, we played up into a 2.1k MMR, with the highest current rating being, I believe, 1896. Uh, that's only after a week of playing together, so we're really excited about optimizing the comp. So this game is against Double Healer Pally Priest, and what we're looking for is just a big opener onto the Priest. You'll see that the Priest already uses Trinket. For some reason, people Trinket Kidney a lot when they're playing against this comp, because they expect the Ellie Shaman just to like, one-shot them during the Kidney. Um, so our kill condition is generally wait until second Kidney, which you're going to see in just a moment here. Here's the cheat. Here's Elemental Mastery into a Nature Swiftness, Kidney Shot, Urshock, dead. Um, the Paladin was actually bubbled and trying to get some heals off, but I'm not sure if you've noticed, but that Priest died in about 3 seconds, so the other team has to respond immediately to save their players. And after that, it's just a cleanup. Um, we're kind of an all-in comp, we lust, and just the Rogue's damage alone will usually take the target down to around 50%. Um, I flashed a little screen there. We beat an RMP, but I wanted to include a couple of the later rating RMPs because they get better and I think those games will be better. One note when you're playing with a rogue on your team, which is very <laughs> unique when you're playing as a shaman, uh, generally you want to let them go up and get the sap. This team was respecting our opener and it looks like they have a druid. As you can see, they have the druid buffs, the priest I'm targeting. And I believe we're going to be going for the priest here, looking for a swap onto the druid. Whenever you're playing with this comp, you're really just looking for someone to overextend, and then you can pop your Elemental Mastery and Kidney Shot when someone overextends. See how this Priest is way up here in the front, and we do notice that the Druid is Feral, he turns on his Leader of the Pack. So I'm going to be taking a ton of damage here, so you're going to see me early War Stomp to get my healer caught up. And then the Rogue and the Priest are basically going to solo this Priest. I'm going to pop my Instant Damage before he gets his Pain Sub. And at this point, I'm spamming Purge to try to take off the belt, which, by the way, is now banned if you have not heard about it. And you'll see me set up a Chain Lightning Lightning Bolt, and that's how it ends. Um, this comp is really strong against comps that can't capitalize during the cooldown of the second Kidney Shot. So we're talking against comps like RLP, WLD, comps that kind of just rot you down over time are... Uh, the rogue Ellie shaman combo is really good just setting up a one-shot hit um, speaking of rlp this coming game is going to be against rlp and when it comes to my spec and gear i'm in basically uh, season two bis except for the shoulders i haven't quite been able to secure 2k which has been a big bummer but this coming season i'm really excited to push it with this team okay so rlp is a pretty scripted game my rogue is going to just try to not get found 
and me and the priest are just gonna purge the lock to make it look like we're gonna go lock. When we open lock, um, the damage is actually gonna be really mediocre because of course locks are hard to kill and especially for Ellie Shamans, they compress Curse of Tongues and ruin our entire rotation. So basically you'll see me poke purges here and you're gonna see me do a little bit of damage and my rogue is just gonna open lock um, right here and that is gonna trigger a blind on the priest. I'm gonna pre-purge the priest. You're gonna see a blind go out on the priest. Watch the priest unit frame on the right side of my screen. Rogue kidneys. I'm gonna do some damage. We get the we get the warlock trinket because again, Ellie shamans are scary. There's the blind on the priest, and see how he trinkets blind immediately. That's what most people should do because if you sit a blind, you're gonna get sapped. And then we reopen priest here. This is me with a full cast lightning bolt. I'm just watching the. Uh, Curse of Tongues timer on my screen. You're gonna see me retarget the priest. He's fully purged. Lightning bolt into my Nature Swiftness Elemental Mastery Chain Lightning for a combination of about 6k damage in one global. So the, the, the gear I'm running with this also, you have to notice that I'm gemming for spell power and crit. Um, I'm, not ge I'm not gemming straight for spell power like a lot of shamans are doing right now. And I find that just getting those crits is really, really important. Okay, so this is looking like enhancement. This is kind of a mirror comp, except instead of elemental, the shaman is enhancement. So the big concern here is letting the shaman connect onto our priest. So if they go me, that's a really good thing, but shamans shred priests. So really what we're looking to do is stop that shaman from connecting to our priest. So I'm gonna try to purge everything. I'm in combat and they wanna kill me, which we're really excited about. You're gonna see me pop a big damage. We're looking to get the Shamanistic Rage. That's the big cooldown. There's the blind on the Druid, which he instantly trinkets, which means we just have to survive for 24 seconds until our second kidney is up. Here's me interrupting a Cyclone. You're gonna see me just sit this and stomp the entire team. The minute I see that Lust, I'm gonna purge every single Lust I can on the team. See me tab targeting here. And then here comes a Kidney. I'm gonna get gashed by the Rogue. This is, see me spamming my Nature Swiftness Elemental Mastery. Garot, I get kidneyed, and the druid is NS'd, and the priest on my team makes the play of his life and purges the NS, so that means I still have my damage, and I actually get my elemental mastery purged by the shaman, which is very common, and my nature swiftness, or sorry, just my nature swiftness purged, which means I still have my NS, which I use right there for heals, and I'm probably going to go down here, no, 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 I, I heal myself back up. The benefit of not being a mage in this comp is that you can off heal. We find that with this comp, um, if the rogue ever gets caught out, you have to turn into a healer as a shaman. So elemental shamans that don't know how to press their heal button, um, you need to learn because it really is what gives you the advantage over other comps. You saw that that team was 1930. I did flash another screen of a game that we won. We're playing up around 1850 MMR right now. And we're pretty excited about it. We've got some pretty good win streak. This is going to be Feral Rogue. So basically we're looking for their opener, stop their opener, and blow up the priest. So I'm going to play super aggro. I got into combat. And my priest, my uh, rogue opens the priest. We're all inning here onto the priest. You're going to see me pop my damage after this uh, pain set blind fall off. So watch the blind fall off. And then watch my reaction to the blind falling off. He's fully purged. This is war stomp into a hard cast chain lightning. I get interrupted. I'm probably gonna push my button here. This is Nature Swiftness for a heal. And this is me juking kicks. I get my Elemental Mastery and I are shocked for the kill. Now this is what leaves us with a Druid and a Rogue. They're gonna finish me off because they just pump. That's just the reality. Watch out for Ferals in Season 3. They get a lot more gear for attack power. And at this point I am dead and Human, our Priest, is also gonna go down, which leaves us with a loss. So this team, uh, first this druid is in my guild, which never feels good. But the thing that we're looking to do against Feral Rogue is snipe the Feral, is what we learned after about 20 games of playing. I wanted to include this loss to show you why it's bad to go after the Priest, because this is a comp that can kill us while we wait for second kidney. And that's the harsh reality. All right, so this is one of the better rated RMPs, and I wanted to show you how we play this game. As an LA Shaman, your job is to stop everything. You have a six second shock, you need to be using it almost on cooldown. Every time you're out of a kidney, every time you're out of a CS, you should be earth shocking. And when it comes to casting at all, I generally don't like casting against RMP. 
if, if I can help it, other than a heal. If I can heal myself and get the CS, that means that the rogue only has to juke a step kick, which is really, really important. We're basically waiting for the rogue to open, which is going to be a sap onto our priest, almost guaranteed. And we know that that's going to happen. They're kind of trying to juke us here. I'm going to try to bait some purges. We get a sap onto the mage, which is my cue to start. My first globals are purges. I'm trying to get those shields and buffs off. I want to get this icy veins as soon as I can. I'm going to trinket the kidney for pressure because I got shadow word pained, which means I can't be polyed. I'm going to stop this poly, which I actually get stopped by the rogue. I'm going to war stomp and pop my damage. He blocks my damage, but the whole point of that is we get the block, which we master spell as fast as possible. Since the mage is fully purged, we can purge off that uh, block really quickly. And see how I don't care about poly because I'm already uh, shadow word pained. I'm going to stop that poly. And then we're going to pop our damage. This is Bloodlust into Chain Lightning, pumping as much damage as I can, and that's it. The main thing against RMP is that you see that my rogue is really focusing on their priest. Their rogue is on our priest, and it's really just me and the mage dueling. That's how we win. Because, frankly, Ellie Shamans should be able to beat mages. Just don't cast. Ever. Um, if you cast, you're going to get CS'd for 8 seconds, and that's how the mage is going to land a full shatter combo onto you, which is around 5k, 6k damage, depending on the crit RNG. So again, just remember this, when you're fighting mages, do not cast. Until you see CS go out. I flashed another win the game there. Um, it's really important to know that I'm trying to provide you games that are actually entertaining, and some games are just really scripted, really boring. We had a couple wins against uh, Roguelock Priests that were just absolute stomps, so I included those. Or I, I took those out. So this is a melee cleave, and usually it goes horribly for us. They found our Rogue in the opener, which is really, really bad. We're targeting their Shaman, trying to get, the, get them down. But you'll notice that my Priest and my Rogue are pretty disconnected, and the Rogue's nearly dead. So I'm going to do as much damage as I can to the Shaman. He's going to Trinket the Blind, which means we just have to survive. And that's really hard against... Um, Oh, this is double healer, sorry. Uh, it's really hard when you have a warrior sitting on you in the opener. Had my pr my rogue been able to stay unfound, we would have probably had this game. Which is what we noticed um, after playing a lot together. It's better to not get the sap and let my rogue get the opener than it is to try to get the sap and get found. So if you're playing against a human or a class that has really good stealth detection, you really have to pay attention to what's going on with uh, stealth detection and make sure your rogue is not getting found if you're playing this comp. As the shaman, when I'm playing double healer, I'm just purging bops. I'm interrupting as much heals as I can and popping my damage. This is the last little bit of damage I've got in the tank, and sadly the double healer does what double healer does best, and they just heal each other infinitely. If you play double healer... Excuse me, just gonna butt in here. I was not in the mood to talk about Double Healer. Let off a little rant. Everybody can play the game how they want. You can continue watching the end of this video. Double Healer is not my favorite comp to play against, but alas, everybody can play the game how they want. Okay, you're good. Anyways guys, that's the series of games I wanted to show you. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm trying to be posting around one video a week in my work schedule, hopefully two a week if I can. But I just wanted to leave you guys with a little bit of background footage here. This is a really satisfying stop that we had. And my plans for Season 3 is to play this comp up until around 2k. And then of course be focusing pretty heavily on actually playing above that. Because getting an Elemental Shaman above 2k in a bracket that's not 5v5 is truly an achievement. So if you're an Elemental Shaman and you're being jealous of you know all those guys that are getting glad... Get over it. You're playing Elemental Shaman. Your time will come. It's called Wrath of the Lich King. I'm in that waiting room too. I'm excited to make more, con uh, more content for you. If you like this video, drop a comment, a like, and if you're super vibing, uh, drop me a subscribe because that would really encourage me to make more content. Anyways, peace.